that our farm rate is. And as, as I touched on, so, so alcohol is, is clearly our biggest harm. 25% uh, of our whānau suffer from um, alcohol sort of issues, but 15% being cannabis. Now when a third of your, your peoples uh, have, have uh, drug and alcohol issues, and a half of them are going to get um, treated twice as poorly as um, our non Māori counterparts, that is not a good, that is not a good step. Uh, for New Zealand, if you just look at it from a New Zealand point of view, that's not good. If you drill down to Māori only, that's definitely not good. So as I say, if you, if you want to um, uh, ask or want to know how to resolve Māori issues, just, just talk to Māori. Uh, and then just, just finally, um, just before I wrap up, yeah, so the discussion today is actually really timely. Um, Ross has said this, it's 40 years in the making. Now, any policy in New Zealand that's 40 years old hasn't been reviewed. Um, you know, you look at some of the policies, and Housing New Zealand is, is another good example where things haven't worked for us. So it is a good time to hear um, from people. Um, but don't rush and make the, make the mistake unless you've had these sort of consultation um, processes. Uh, there'll be people that have evidence-based, um, there'll be people that have completely different views, uh, there'll be treaty-based um, thinking that needs to be brought to the, uh, to the, to the, to the front, forefront. Uh, but we've got to just, um, the key is if we're looking after our whānau, uh, what are the different issues that they have and how do we address those issues, one of which is um, drug reform, uh, it's a pretty important one. Uh, there are many others as well that we need to work on. And just, we just need to, so we just need to keep talking across sector as well. So not just uh, in the health sector, this is, should be a social services sort of um, uh, co -puffer. It's good that our police are here, uh, but these are other organisations that should be involved in this. And then finally, yeah, just, um, just, just in closing, yeah, let's, let's talk, talk more. Uh, the, the, the key is we're having a conversation, and uh, the key is we're included in the conversation. Uh, we have treaty rights in New Zealand. Uh, we have uh, laws in New Zealand that protect inequalities for Māori over non-Māori. Um, so those frameworks in place, uh, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a quick example, and, and this is a good example. Uh, there's a restorative justice program in the um, correction space. That was based off a lot of our um, Māori people going into the criminal system. Now that model works, so there's, there's clearly alternative models, rather than just having punitive um, punishment for our Māori boys, and, and, and wahine who are coming through the system. So there's clearly other models out there that work. A whānau order, street-based approach is another model. Um, but anything preventative that stops people <coughs> from going into um, a system that's going to keep turning them into that system, has got to be better than what we're doing. Uh,